Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. I have not been watching the last three episodes of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but I think I'm about to get into what is the season finale. So let's go. So I'm guessing that Erica Banks is having like a little set, right? And they're all in the back getting ready. Rashida Kirk are sitting back there and then Jasmine walks in. So this is Rashida's face and she says, it's time for me to go. See, this is the problem. Every time Rashida leaves, it's some stuff that pops off that she needs to be there for. And then she wants to get mad when she don't know what's going on. You should have stayed there with your husband when Jasmine walks into the building. Now, one thing about Jasmine walking into the building, Kirk has a ray of light about him that he does not have until she walks into the building, right? Because now, now that Rashida is gone, he wants to talk about Cannon. She was like, here we go. So basically, Kirk said he is tired of paying for these lawyer fees, right? He said he's going to draw up an agreement, and he asked her, was she okay with the money that he's paying now? She said yes. He said, well, I'll draw up an agreement. We'll get that going, and then we'll, you know, we'll figure all that out. She was like, fine. That's all she ever wanted, right? So then Erica gets up and leaves because she realized she should not have been in this conversation. And then I think Jasmine gets up and goes. So as she is walking out, Kurt calls her back. Jasmine, come here. I got something to say. So Kirk finally admitted that he lied about Jasmine coming to the door in her birthday suit. He lied about that, right? And he's like, well, I admitted to what I said was wrong. Can you fix these text messages up? Because I'm kind of in a bad space. Jasmine was like, no, because I didn't lie. Those text messages are very much real. Now, let me say this. If the text messages were not that real, he wouldn't have just turned around and said, oh, you are, now this is crazy. I'm out. Like, he turned around and left. After she said, no, I'm not about to say anything. I'm not about to lie about these texts. He walked away. Then we get to Rashida sitting down talking to Kirk. She was like, Kirk, tell me what's going on with these text messages. Kirk said... <laughs> Him and Jasmine was having an argument about something that did not matter. What do you mean something that did not matter? Because Cannon matters. He's the only reason y'all should be communicating. What else are you talking about? Because unless it's money for child support or the baby, y'all don't have nothing to be arguing about. He said, you know, she has bad energy, so I just deleted everything. Or she have took that. Then she let him know that the problem is he does not stand up and correct stuff, which makes her not trust him. She says she's tired of looking like this, right? So, but it happens all the time, Rashida. So then Rashida was like, you should be getting some straightening, right? Because anything that makes me look bad, you should figure that out. Like, you've been having this conversation with Kirk for a very long time, Rashida, and nothing has changed. Then Rashida said, you know, they've been married almost 25 years. And it's not that easy to throw that away. She was like, ask Keisha Nim, ask Michelle Obama, ask Beyonce. Um, Rashida, granted, there are some things out there about Jay-Z, but he ain't never brought no more kids home that we know of. And Barack Obama, you, stop. So Kirk said at the end of the day, uh, Rashida doesn't have to worry about him embarrassing her anymore he's embarrassed he's embarrassed the kids he's not messing around with anyone anymore that's what he said to Rashida and then this happened let's keep going now Yandy over here <laughs> she, she tussling for her love because I guess Mendeecees finally let her know that he lost the ring that's why he wasn't wearing the ring so she said she bought him some big boy toys to choose from and honey when Mendeecees put the ring on, he said, is that important to you? What do you mean that important? You are her husband. She wants it to be known, regardless of what happens. She still wants it to be known, Mendeecees. So he said, you know, she's trying. It's gotten better. I guess she's dumped herself down a little bit, maybe. But I think that's messed up because Yandy is an amazing woman. And she makes this stuff happen. I don't know what Mendeecees over there doing. But let's keep going. Lastly, she was so happy that she got Mendeecees to wear his ring. 
So if Randy's happy, I'm happy. I just hope he doesn't disappoint her, right? Because he was kind of disappointing this season. Y'all let me know what you thought about this. If you finished watching it and what are your thoughts. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.